What is going on YouTube? Hit him back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XRP to US dollar. We're also going to be looking at Dudex as well as the current coin market cap. Yesterday's video, we left off at a very interesting price point. Uh, basically, we discussed that uh, we could be coming to a very critical level in the market where we may actually start to experience a correction or a reversal coming uh, in price. Uh, you can clearly see shown on this uh, thumbnail that we do look to be hitting some sort of uh, peak in price, we may actually start to experience a reversal and dip to the downside very soon. A lot of this is pretty much shown on a lot of these cryptocurrencies showing some sort of cap and um, shooting star formation up top here. So I do want to discuss all of this with you guys very soon, how you guys may want to start consider shorting the market as I am going to be shorting the market very soon. Um, otherwise, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up as this does help out the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Crypto V Official. This way, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can DM me over there. Otherwise, let's jump into today's episode. All right, guys, so I really just want to dive right into this because I do believe strongly that we are going to start to see a reversal formation and you guys might want to start to consider shorting the market because we are probably going to be dipping lower. Now, uh, specifically, I do want to show you, I mean, we could start on all of these cryptocurrencies. You can see Litecoin. I just want to flash these really quickly. Litecoin, this is uh, today's candle, this week's candle. Uh, we have Bitcoin, we have Ethereum, we have XRP, all in red. Uh, specifically, I want to show you guys what this is referencing. You can see really uh, what this looks like, really understand and visualize what this candlewick looks like. This is considered a shooting star and shooting stars uh, are defined as a bearish candlestick with a long upper shadow and little to no lower shadow. So going back to Litecoin, very long upper shadow and a very little or no lower shadow. Exactly that. Uh, shooting star is the type of candlestick that forms when a security opens, advances significantly, and then closes the day near the open again. For a candlestick to be considered a shooting star, the formation must appear during a price advance. Also, the distance between the highest price of the day and the opening price must be more than twice as large as the shooting star's body. There should be little to no shadow below the real body, which is true, and it's what we've seen here. There is very little, uh, you know wick if all in this movement right here and this shooting star is forming after a massive advance in price you can clearly see when drawn the price range starting from here all the way up is about 20 50 percent it's a massive leap in price so this is a massive advance that did just happen within litecoin and crypto and this is usually referencing a correction to the downside now you guys do remember we did use bityard and we can use some other cryptos but i do have that short position in right here as i as it is on litecoin and i do predict that litecoin is going to correct lower you could have done this on any of the cryptos but after seeing the shooting star formation i do have this litecoin correction in 10 times leverage we're up about 13 percent right now as I do believe the price of Litecoin is going to start to collapse lower. Now, a lot of the other cryptocurrencies can be profited as well, as you guys can see moving on from Litecoin as it is a huge opportunity to short. Bitcoin is showing that huge, beautiful shooting star movement as well. This is extremely bearish, guys. After a beautiful run of about 50%, which is right here. This is a, or this one's a 30% movement right here. This is a huge bearish sign. This is a correction. This is a reversal formation happening. So I am anticipating even on Bitcoin to see that correction happen. Um, so what do you, what do I mean by that? A few things. Obviously, it means that on Dudex, you guys really have to start considering the correction to come and really play out the possibilities that you might want to start to short cryptocurrency right now as we speak. If you guys are interested in learning my specific trades about cryptocurrency, my specific trades with Bitcoin, the amount I'm leveraging, the short that I'm creating, uh, definitely make sure to check out my Patreon, which is linked below. It's extremely important that if you want to get updated by um, by me and you want to understand how exactly I trade and profit in cryptocurrency, consider 
you following my Patreon because unfortunately YouTube takes a while for you guys to see my content. Um, I post later, I have to edit, upload, I do it at work. It takes a while, but with Patreon, you guys get the live updates and that's you know major key in movement like this. So these are huge opportunities to short. Definitely make sure to take be taking advantage of this. Massive shooting stars are forming. Um, clearly you can see, what does a shooting star tell you? Um, you can see right here, Shooting stars indicate a potential price top and reversal. The shooting star candle is most effective when it forms after a series of three or more consecutive rising candles with higher highs. As you can clearly see, one, two, three, four. Four consecutive moving candles with higher highs. This shows the same buying pressure seen over the last several periods as the day progresses, though the sellers step in and push the price back down to the near open, erasing the gains for the day. This shows that buyers lost control of the close for the day and sellers may be taking over. This long upper shadow represents the buyers who bought during the day but are now in a losing position because the price dropped back to the opening of the candle wick. So that is exactly what I'm referring with with the markets like that. People that tend to be buying in late in the game thinking we're going to continue to pop up higher um, are going to be losing money. You know, it's not the conservative way to trade. Uh, but this is where we're priming ourselves up. You know, who knows? Maybe some of us missed out on the run. Doesn't mean we're out of the game. The reversal is now coming in price. You can see we are extremely overbought even on Ethereum and we're showing now signs of the peak of the top and the correction to the downside. So definitely make sure to be shorting as we discuss. Same thing applies to XRP, which looks really good. Somehow XRP has managed, as I said yesterday, I literally said this yesterday. I said, as we retest this moving average here, one of two things are going to happen and we have to pay very close attention to there. There were, there were at the time yesterday, five Five days and 13 hours left in the coin. Today, there's four days and 13 hours left in the coin. I said, and I quote, we need to see which direction this uh, price, uh, price candle decides to close. If it closes below its resistance, we know it's going to be a bearish outlook and we'll probably see consolidation to the downside. If we see a close above the moving average, we know then that there's a very high chance we're going to see a correction to the upside, or sorry, a movement to the upside. As you can see, we're now starting to correct lower. We're having that same shooting star wick formation, maybe not so much on XRP, but definitely on Bitcoin and definitely on Litecoin. And that's why I decided to trade on Litecoin. Uh, Bitcoin looks the best because as you can see, we have this smaller uh, formation that happened here, but Litecoin doesn't have that. These are four solid, beautiful uptrends. So this is a massive opportunity to be shorting on Dudex right now, guys, in Bitcoin. So consider leverage trading it, consider dropping it. That's what I'm going to be doing right after this video. Uh, Patreon is updated, so you guys should definitely make sure to check it out. But I do believe that a shooting star formation is forming and the correction is about to come. And it's going to be a drop. I do believe this is usually going to be a drop. I mean, I can pull up images of references as to what it is I'm referring to. Um, but you can see right here, this is what would be considered a shooting star. Massive wick on the upside, very small engulfed candle wick on the downside. Same thing applies here. Shooting star formations were either consider a inverted hammer uh, reversal or a shooting star pattern, which is on the you know, the top end, and it's a correction to the downside. We're looking at this right here. This is the shooting star formation that usually represents the correction in a bull market afterwards. So you can see this, we have bullish market, bullish movements. We see this, oh, this might be a signal of a reversal. Even though it didn't directly happen after that, and we had some play, we even shot all the way back up here. It eventually referenced a big bearish drop in price and that's pretty much what you guys have to consider so definitely make sure to you know take advantage of the market pay attention to it trade conservatively that's pretty much my you know my understanding of the market that's the way i've learned to trade i used to be extremely extremely um you know high risk trader i was very um focused hyper focused on the market all i was doing was spending my time watching the market and it was too much i was too emotionally developed into it eventually i've learned take a step back trade on more of the weekly and the daily uh where things take a little bit longer to happen it's less risk and it's a it takes a longer time for that risk to kick in and you know it's much easier for you to spend your time doing other things instead of being extremely developed into a market when you trade on the one hour trying to gauge where exactly 
one hour candle look is going to go. Are we going to go up? Or are we going to go down? I'll bet that we're going to go down within the hour and you could lose a lot of money very quickly. Uh, but otherwise, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Let me just get this back into focus. Um, yeah, so definitely make sure to be subscribing to the channel, turning on post notifications. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter at CryptoVOfficial. Otherwise, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.